another I and an equal sign, and then I plus one. It sounds like gibberish. You like this better than Italian? Yeah. Better than French? <laughs> It's computer code, and it may be more valuable than any other language high school students study. That's where there's the most jobs right now, I'd say, in technology and stuff. Becoming a lawyer or doctor is now passe. With unemployment for 20 to 24-year-olds at 12.4 percent, the hot job now? Tech entrepreneur. So how do you call the function? But to join the club, you got to speak the language not many are fluent in, programming. Do you think this is increasingly important for college students and for the job market for people to learn these of kind of course, skills? Of course, of course, because every, every, new technology is being like built every day. You got iPhones, you got all that type of stuff. So it's like you can use this stuff to actually help you understand it. Salaries for people with coding skills are high. Entry-level software engineers at companies like Google and Facebook pay in the six figures. Now, over a 40-year career, the engineering major can make over a million dollars more than the average college grad. So it's definitely a job that pays and one where these tech skills are necessary. But the problem is computer science software engineering firms can't find enough skilled workers. Enter Codecademy, an online company that teaches the average Joe the most basic programming skills. Now they've created a curriculum specifically for schools. There's not enough teacher training for teachers that are interested in learning to become computer science and programming teachers either. Teacher Courtney Ginsburg decided to learn coding at the Code Academy website. Now she's using it to help her students get prepped for the job market. It's getting harder and harder for my students to get even the after school jobs that they got a few years ago when I started teaching. Code Academy says it's in nearly 2,000 schools now. Another step towards building the strength of America's tech labor force. And for kids today who have an iPhone in hand and spend a lot of time on apps, the idea of building one for a living doesn't sound bad. They grew up on Facebook and paid attention to the story. I think we've just seen so many really cool success stories of young people who, you know, came to Silicon Valley with a dream and, and hit it really big. I think we're also in a very interesting economic time in this country and people are more open to taking risks and trying something new. You think you have the, the, the next Mark Zuckerberg in your class? Um, that would be amazing. <laughs> Lori Siegel, uh, CNN Money, New York. Academy works on a point system.